See that rat? He's the first one to come to my party. <laughs> and there's a couple of piglets. They're all going to be in here soon. Uh, here comes a chicken. Uh, because it's so hot out there. It's close to 100 degrees outside and it's sunny. Uh, in here it's not bad at all. There are enough barn boards missing that the breeze goes right through here. Hi there. <laughs> Here's those those pleasure tools for pigs I I think I might have mentioned that I got. So I feed them outside. I give them uh, shell corn outside. They it's so hot and, and most mostly they stay down there in that lower barn at the cement floor. It's it's pretty cool down there, uh, but it's also pretty cool up here. So they're going to come in here and they'll be fine. They have water. Pigs or the goats surprisingly lay out there in the sun. I don't know why they do that uh, in, in in this kind of heat, but they do. Chickens have a pleasant song to sing. It really threw the rats into confusion rats and mice when I stopped feeding inside the barn here because this was their banquet. Uh, now I'm feeding out in the field and you know, it's, life isn't so easy for them now. This may, I don't think now's the time to go into any kind of detail about it, but this foundation uh, it has been built over an older foundation and the two are so mixed. Uh, now that I've got, <laughs> now that I've got the manure mostly out of here, I'll be able to look at the foundation better, the whole thing, and see what was original and what wasn't. The mortar is plastered on the joints. That's not the way they did it in the old days. That that wall is my wall. I built that out of stones that I had around here because I added the barn bridge. Up there is the barn bridge. This didn't have a barn bridge at first. It was really hard to get the hay in. We got a rooster friend. Now they're coming. They had their luncheon outside there, but now they can come in and have dessert off the floor. There's something about that that's really tasty. The little ones too, the piglets too. Ah, things are picking up. That's my tiniest pig. That's the piglet. That's the runt. Goats would prefer it if the pigs weren't in here, I think, but they're going to have to get used to it. I didn't spread any corn here. That, that, that's just uh, the vintage heritage manure that's got enough in it that they, they like it. They're busy eating at it. I was going to say that th I think of this not so much as a pig party anymore, but more in terms of a soiree. You know, like in Paris, they had those salon, uh, Gertrude Stein comes to mind, you know, where guests would come and get together and talk things over. It's quieter like that. Now, if I would spread corn around, it would be, then they'd, they'd, they'd be all into that. I may eventually, probably will eventually. There's a lot of manure here though to get out still. There's about, it's about a foot deep here still. But this is dry. And I, I get about five wheelbarrow loads, five to ten every morning that I take out. And in the pile out there, they, they work at it there too as well.
I wonder if in this light you can see that barn swallow. They have a nest. Uh, his or her mate just flew up to it. It's out of sight. But, uh, I really like them. There, surely you can see that one. Pretty low key party so far. That's good, <laughs> I guess. They have other places to go where it's cool. They can get down by the creek. There's no water in it, I don't think, but but it, it's real cool down there. There's several places they can go, but. Well, <laughs> well I see them scratching. I'd rather they let me do that with the scratcher because it. My posts, a lot of them are only held together with uh, wedges. That's what I expected to see or before too long after they've done their exploring and eating a little bit then just lay down in that cool moist ground sleep there's the pair. I think it's a little gilt, the female. She's about half the size of the next smallest one. She really is tiny. Oh, here comes Molly. Molly's, oh, seems like she's always got milk. She's one of my two oldest sows, and and uh, after after her first litter, it drew her down so bad. I did I wasn't sure she was gonna make it, but she recovered and then went on to have more litters. Somewhere in there is Tiny. I, I think I'll just call her Tiny. She's, yep, there she is. <laughs> trying, to, trying to find some milk for herself, too. <clears throat> There's uh, my biggest, oldest boar. There's a. He's exploring what's down that drain. They're small enough, these piglets, they can go right down that drain if they want to and come back. Of course, the rats can too. Yeah, they're little by little, they're all coming in, which is good. This is where they ought to be, this hot weather like this. No wonder Molly's so skinny. She's just a mama that can't say no. That's what that's what I think almost did her in after that first litter. She just fed him a long, long time. That's goat territory, but the pig seems to like it up there too. <clears throat> She's been nursing piglets steady for 15-20 minutes. You wonder 
How can she still be producing any milk at all? <laughs>